We are back. Once again. Coming at you live. For us, it's live. For them, it's like a day old. Sorry, I'm going to ruin your vibe. Coming at you live. Coming at you live. The podcast about tiny homes. In a tiny home. In a tiny home. Okay. Just can't beat it. Yeah. I think we should just keep that as a motto. So, um, just want to talk about the business today. And... Like what we're about, what our mission is, what we're excited to do, and behind the uh, the, behind, what's the what's why behind the what? Yeah, yeah. So our tagline is spaces to rest. Right. So we're all excited about all about that. I rest. shouldn't say excited. Like that sounds like we're going to Disneyland or something about it. We're not excited, mm-hmm. but we're passionate. That's better. Yeah. Is that better word? Passionate. Great. Passionate about resting. Like, resting is really important for me. That's just something that, like, has been vital, even building this business, is, like, learning to rest, especially when something difficult happens. Mm -hmm. Learning to not only recognize that I need to rest, but also rest in the right way. Yeah. We were talking about this earlier of, like, you can take a break, but if you're not doing what you actually, what actually, like, rejuvenates your mind... And your body, then it's, it's not, not really rest. It's not really rest. Like you, you rest. don't you don't you you don't take you don't take a rest and come back. Oh shit! Feeling I lost better. My, yeah. You're not like you're not like recharged. Yeah. So and you're like not coming back ready to conquer yeah. the world. Pretty much. It's it, it's super awesome for me too because it's like I get to do something for work. Like we're working with our hands. We're carefully building these tiny homes Mm -hmm. that I'm excited for in sort of like another realm of my life. Like it's almost like a spiritual journey for me. Like my spiritual passion, which is helping people in the mental health space. I'm literally doing that in with a construction company, which is crazy. I actually didn't plan to do that. So like our mission, our company's mission is so our tagline is, is is spaces to rest, but then our mission goal as a company, not necessarily my personal mission, but like a company's mission, is um, we want to build a nationally recognized tiny home brand that inspires America to live with less. So mm-hmm. we and we're you know we're working hard to do that, but mm-hmm. it's so exciting like getting to talk to people on the phone. Jeff gets to talk to people on the phone. And, like, again and again, we hear people wanting to create spaces and host people, bring people into their um, tiny homes for, like, overnight stays and just help them rest. Yeah. To get away from, like, the craziness of life in the city and at work and whatever they're doing with their life that makes them need a break. Yeah. You know, things that are happening to them. Um, especially diff- especially when difficult things happen, it's just so important that we take a little time, set aside some time, take a break, budget ourselves some brain space. Yeah. Because, like, well, at least, I don't know how it is for you, but, like, for me, when something difficult happens, immediately I cram my brain. So, like, I will, like, immediately start thinking about a hundred different things. Not even that difficult thing yeah. happened. Like Something just, trying to retake the space. Like, I'm just like taking a fire hydrant and just like, yeah, stimulus. Something trying to retake that space. Like, but yeah, I'm like trying overkill. to swallow all this water overkill, yeah. versus stimulus for my brain. Yeah, it's a weird way to say that, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. What's what's like a good? What do you think of when you think of like a break, taking a break, like how to rest? Like what makes you feel? rested for me it would be like there's kind of a couple different things i could i would think of that would make me feel if you could come i mean i could still work but it would have to be kind of just like a hobby almost thing for me to come away resting like yeah so something that you're you're doing doesn't matter really how it goes yeah maybe you have an end goal but it's kind of just something you're Doing just kind of pastime, I guess, maybe. Yeah, that makes or, sense. And then just, just yeah, literally having nothing extra on your mind. Yeah. Just not having to think about, you know, what's 
what's tomorrow going to be? Just, uh, yeah. hey, I'm just going to take it today. Yeah. Go out and go fishing or something. Yeah, yeah. Like being in nature. For real. Dude, and that's the that's thing. The under, most underrated, what was it? Uh, man, my English vocabulary is not very... Dude, it's your first language, bro. Yeah, I know, but like, I just Like, don't. this is the language they taught you. <laughs> I, my parents tried born. teaching me Dutch. Dutch? Yeah. That, that didn't work out. No, so, it's, nature is the most underrated, um... Like, cure. therapeutic yeah. thing, maybe? Like, yeah. rejuvenating exercise? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. You can, yeah. You, like... I've never, I've never gone out into the woods, and I spend a lot of time in the woods. I've never gone out in the woods and come back and just feel like, oh, that was a waste of time. Oh, I've huh. never come out really? in the woods like that. Like, but then what do you do though that you'd be like, oh, that was a waste of time? Like going to town? Mm. If you go to town and be like, oh, that was a waste. If I don't get anything, like if I don't accomplish something. Huh. That's fascinating. You know? That's interesting. Like for me, for me, maybe, like maybe if it's nothing even significant, maybe, maybe all I did in the woods was counted how many leaves are on a tree or something. I don't yeah, know. Like I don't yeah. do that really. But it could be completely. It useless. could be something completely useless. But you're like, man, that was that was just a good time. You know, I don't think like I spent a lot of time hunting in the woods, and I'm just I never come out of the woods feeling like wow, that was stupid. I should have been doing yeah. something else. Yeah, and I think that is. Um, something that our generation is figuring out. Mm -hmm. Like, some of the best things in life are free. And the reason that we're not experiencing them is because our brains, like, marketers have trained our brain to think we need to buy things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I love about here. I am going to try to market tiny homes now. <laughs> but, like, tiny homes are amazing because... You're starting with so much like smaller of a price tag, yeah. That you get to spend so like you're talking sixty, seventy thousand dollars for one of our homes, yeah. And then you're you you you've got so much more. You've got extra money then to spend on the property, mm -hmm. developing experiences, whether it's hiking trails, you know, a sauna, cold plunge, shower. Oh, dude. So like, I've always had this idea of when I start a tiny home. If I start a tiny home, Airbnb business. Mm -hmm. It'll be like very experience based, like rituals. Oh, so like so it's like kind a, of a pl not really a planned out thing, but kind of yeah, like kind of. you've got to do these certain things. Yeah, you don't have to do them, but like if yeah. you show up, there'll be like the ritual of, you know, there'll be like like different cultures. I think are better at rituals sometimes than we are because we're so individualistic oh, yeah. in America. You know, like like Japanese bath, for example. They have this whole ritual built around it. Yeah. You know, and then like the Scandinavian countries, they have like the whole ritual of sauna, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, like, I don't know, there's other stuff too, like tea. Maybe like the Middle Eastern people have like a ritual around tea. Yeah. I don't know. Or like, I think maybe the Chinese or Japanese do as They're well. probably something. Yeah, there's like, isn't there like a flower that you put in and it like blooms? That's Japanese, I believe. Could be. Man, I'm not so, 100% sure. I'm a dummy, dude. <laughs> Anyways, doesn't matter. Like, the point is, yeah. like, you could do, like, this research and curate an experience-based stay that's focusing on ritual. Yeah. Right? And so, especially if you're experiencing burnout, you could, like, sign up for... You could actually sell subscriptions, almost. Like, you could say, hey, three times a year. So, end of every quarter. Four times a year, sorry. That's what a quarter is. Um, we know nothing about cultures or math. Yep. So, like, you could have these rituals. It's basically, like, where people were experiencing burnout in their business, their ministry, whatever they're doing, right? And they come, and they as soon as they come in on the property, you've got, like, this whole, like, this whole experience-based stay for them. Where they come, they, you know, they come, they do a bath, they do a ritual of tea, they do the ritual of... Um, lighting incense, lighting a fire, the ritual of a sauna, cold plunge, you know, then they, then they get in their, their robe and their slippers. You have all this provided, yeah. right? So put on the robe, put on the slippers, you know, co cozy up in bed and then do the ritual of a journal, like a guided journal. Yeah. Like, you know, you could have like a guided questions, like what's. You know, what did you feel when you did the sun or like what's something that scares you about this year? Like whatever it is, it could be like and they could even pick just stuff kinds. to kind of like maybe challenge yourself. Yeah. For the most part. 
Yeah, it's just like that, that way it's like this thoughtful stay and you're actually offering them an experience yeah. versus just a house. Just a house, yeah. And that's kind of that's like, a big thing. Yeah, it's huge. And that's like what we, when we, when, that's what we want to do too with our homes is like be able to offer something that is curated for that purpose. Sure. So like we're not here to give your guest everything that they might get at home. But we want to give space for the experiences. Yeah. Right? We don't want to overclutter them with all kinds of knickknacks and the big TV or... Yeah. That's one thing I was like, no, I was kind of thinking about. is just the how much people, you know, to us, it's just like I think the world just kind of puts it on the thing is, oh, rest is, you know, go home, watch Netflix and chill. You know, that's, mm -hmm. that's rest. Mm -hmm. When really rest is literally doing absolutely nothing. Yeah. Like you said earlier today, like boredom is a good thing. Yeah, it is. Boredom is your recovery time for your brain. Dude, and the world is like they're waking up to this, like people are Airbnb everything, bro. Everything. Literally. Yeah. Like a, I said literally somebody like made a a stump. Like a, a giant <laughs> you're, you're lying. I'm dead serious. Dude, you're That's it. No 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 no. It's based off of like, I'm not I don't even know if I've ever watched the movie. It's based off of some cartoon Shrek. There's like They'd be like, check out instructions for the stump. Be like, <laughs> be like, leave it as you found it. No house parties. Can you imagine like having a whole list of rules on Airbnb for this stump? That is like, it. It's no a life size stump though. Like it's a life size. So basically you're living inside of a stump. Oh, oh I thought somebody's like coming and sitting on a stump. <laughs> Six. You have to do your own research, but our customers are doing really well. And we do yeah. have, on our website, we have like, you know, all the listings that we have up. It's not near all of them. We gotta, we gotta get some of the newer ones up. But like, as we keep adding, you know, we'll, we, if someone buys a tiny home from us and then they list it on Airbnb, then we'll like post the listing on our website and you can go even stay at one of our homes. Um, yeah. yeah. Give it a try for yourself. Give it a try for yourself. <laughs>